Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about what is a variable, how to declare a variable and how to initialize a variable and you can refer my notes that I have mentioned in a description. Okay, so let's begin. So first we are going to discuss about what is a variable. Now let's imagine if you have the cookies and you want to store it. So for that you need a container to store that cookies, right? And a container might be a box, might be a jar or anything in that we can store something now see here i have the cookies and i want to store it for that i need a container right that's why i have taken here a jar to store the cookies so in this way we can store cookies into the jar so here jar is work as a container to store the cookies right similarly in a java programming if we have to store a value or any data then the question is arise that where we can store it right so we can store a value or any data into a variable that means in a java variable is work as a container to store a value or any data so that we can use that value in our program so basically variable is a container that store the value and second thing about variable is the value of variable can be changed that means we can change value of the variable and the meaning of variable itself is to vary or to change now see here instead of cookies we can store chocolates or biscuits into a jar so here content of jar can be changed similarly in a java we can change value of a variable and it's also called as the variable reassignment that is we can reassign variable so basically variable is a container that show the value and value of variable can be changed now we are going to discuss about how to declare a variables to declare means to create that means to declare a variables mean to create a variables okay now let's think if you have to perform any activity on this stage then before going to perform anything on this stage first you need to introduce yourself on this stage so that everyone will know about you right similarly in a java if we have to use variables in a program then first we need to declare a variables so that compiler know about variables and if we won't declare a variables and directly use the variables in a program then compiler will raise an error and program won't compile so basically before using a variables in a program we must be declaring to declare variables we need to follow the syntax and syntax is nothing but the set of rules that we have to follow to write the code same as other languages such as english language we know that where we have to put full stop where we have to put commas and all right so basically each language has its own set of rules to write similarly in a java programming language there is a syntax that we have to follow to write the code of a program so we can use following syntax to declare variables first we have to write access modifier access modifier is also called as the access specifier so access modifier control the access level or scope of a variables in a program we can use four type of access modifiers for a variable in a java it's a public private protected and default for example if i create my profile on a social media and set my profile as a public then everyone can see my profile that means my profile will be visible for everyone's right similarly if we declare variable as a public then variable is visible or accessible to all classes in our program and if we declare variable as a private then variable is accessible only within the same class where variable declared okay if variable is declared as a protected then variable is accessible within the same package or outside the package and package is nothing but the group of classes and if we don't declare any access modifier to the variable then it consider as a default and in this case variable is accessible within the same package and then we have to write type of variable and type is nothing but the data type and each variable has its type such as boolean byte char short int long float double and string then we have to write variable name and at the end we have to put semicolon and semicolon is important at the end of each statement in a java because it show to the compiler that where one statement will end and from where the next statement will begin so in this way we can declare a variables so we can write like this 
so first we have to write access modifier it's a public and then there will be a data type and it's the int and then variable name and it's a var1 now we are going to discuss about how to initialize the variables to initialize means to assign or to store that means to initialize a variable means to assign value or data to the variables so basically to give initial value to the variables is called as initialization of variables to initialize a variable we also have to follow the syntax so first we have to write access modifier and then next to the access modifier we have to write the type of variable and then there will be a variable name and next to the variable name there will be a equal sign and then there will be a value or a data that we have to assign to the variable and at the end there will be a semicolon okay so we can write like this so access modifier it's a public type of variable is the integer that is int and the variable name it's a var1 and then equal sign and next to the equal sign there will be a value okay so it's a 2 that we have to assign to the var1 and then at the end there will be a semicolon or we can declare and initialize a variable like this so either we can declare and initialize a variable in a single statement or we can declare and initialize a variable separately now see here to assign value or data to the variable we have to use a equal sign and equal sign is also called as the assignment operator right so here assignment operator is indicate that the value is going to assign to the variable okay and it's called as the initialization now see here when the statement of declaration will execute then the null variable will create and when the statement of initialization will execute then the value or data will assign or store to the variable so basically creation of a variable is called as the declaration of variable and to store or to assign value to the variable is called as the initialization of a variable so simply keep in mind that if we have to use a variable in a program then before that we must be declare variable and initialize a variable otherwise compiler will raise an error and program won't compile now see here first we are going to discuss about how to declare variables then we will see how to initialize variables and at the end we will see how to change value of a variables okay so let's get started so first we are going to discuss about how to declare a variable and to declare a variable we need to follow the syntax that already we have discussed so we can write like this first we have to write type of variable and it's suppose int okay that is data type and then we have to write variable name it's suppose var and at the end there will be a semicolon so in this way we can declare a variable or create a variable now see here this variable var is an integer type of variable that means we can store only integer values into it okay and integer values are nothing but the numeric numbers and we know that all numeric numbers in a java is of integer type now we are going to discuss about how to initialize variables to initialize means to assign or to store value to the variables now we have to assign or store integer value to the variable var okay so here we already declare variable var right now we are going to initialize variable var okay so we can write like this so var equals to suppose 2 okay so in this way we can initialize a variable now we are going to print value of variable var using a println method so println method is a predefined method that java provides us to print output on a screen so we can write like this system dot out dot println okay so in this way we can use a println method now let's run the code and let's see what will be the output now see here we have got an expected output the value of variable var is 2 now as we discussed earlier that if we have to use variables in a program then before that first we must be declare and initialize the variables and if we won't declare and initialize the variables and directly use the variables then a compiler raise an error and program won't compile so let's check it out 
so first i am going to comment the statement of declaration and initialization okay and if we comment any statement in a java then that statement won't be executed by the compiler that means that statement is considered as a non executable statement okay now see here without declaration and initialization i am going to use variable var that is i am directly going to print variable var using a println method and here we have already described a println method right i am directly going to run this code now let's see now see here compiler raise an error now i am going to remove comment of declaration statement okay that means here we have declare a variable var but won't initialize okay now again we are going to run this code now let's see what will happen now see here compiler again raise an error the local variable var may not have been initialize now i am going to remove comment of initialization statement okay and again going to run this code now see here we got an expected output so basically if we have to use a variables in our program then we must be declare it and initialize it now we are going to discuss about how to change value of a variable so current value of a variable var is a 2 right now we are going to change value of variable var so we can write like this so var equals to 2 okay plus 1 now let's print value of variable var okay now let's run now see here the value of variable var has been change and it's become 3 okay so in this way we can change value of variables so it's all about what is a variable how to declare variables and how to initialize a variable now i am going to end this session so keep learning and thank you so much for watching